do things upset. We lost a co-worker because of all this crap. The workplace during those times was extremely hectic. Everyone was stressing out, nervous. Um, honestly, it was kind of interfering with work. Two employees speaking up, their coworker dead after testing positive for coronavirus during the outbreak. Dozens of others infected too. The online news outlet El Paso Matters first confirmed the outbreak at the El Paso Psychiatric Center, an inpatient facility that treats children and adults with mental disorders and mental illness. Despite other major Texas cities identifying health care facilities with outbreaks, the city of El Paso still won't confirm it. I don't believe there's any harm being uh, had by any El Pasoan because that, no, that name is not out there publicly as disclosed by the city. Pretty hard to deal and cope with. Uh, and unfortunately, we all kind of foresaw that this was all going to happen. Two employees spoke to ABC7. We agreed to conceal their faces and alter their voices as they fear for their jobs. They explained the surge started after an employee who returned from vacation in Mexico wasn't asked to quarantine, even after his travel companion tested positive. He told them directly that he had been with a person who tested positive for COVID, and they told him no, that he's not to report to work because he had already been on vacation. Emails obtained by ABC7 show the facility superintendent notified employees when the first two confirmed cases emerged March 31st and April 1st, and then when 10 employees had tested positive. They would email us, but once all this got under control, they stopped emailing us. Until the email sharing news of the death of colleague Nati Luevano, the psychiatric center management writing the circumstances of his death were unknown. However, the Texas State Employees Union reported Luevano died from complications related to coronavirus. ABC7 asked the Texas State Department of Health and Human Services, the department which runs the psychiatric center, why the email stopped. A spokeswoman in Austin didn't answer, only saying, quote, We implemented a more formal communications process for the state hospital system to notify families and staff of a positive case and potential exposures to ensure we were being as transparent as possible and also adhering to privacy laws. The two employees also said personal protective equipment, or PPE, wasn't handed out until there were 10 cases at the center. Towards the end of March, the masks were kind of optional. But those masks, we have to keep them for one week, and, uh, and after that, then they offered us the blue gowns. We would have to clean them as well as the gowns. Both employees say it took longer for patients to get masks. They started seeing all the employees wearing masks and full PPE eventually, so they started asking questions. Health and Human Services says PPE guidelines were put into effect March 2nd, a month before both employees say it became mandatory at the psychiatric center to use it. The department could not confirm when patients received PPE. Citing privacy laws, the state also wouldn't confirm how many patients tested positive. But these employees say some were released from the facility during the outbreak. How could they discharge this patient when he's positive? He's going to go to his family, maybe spread it to them, and oh my god, I just couldn't believe that. They're discharging patients that are tested positive. A move they say underscores their main concern. You always get the feeling that they don't quite care for us.